At the close of the G8 summit in Germany last Friday, leaders of the world's richest countries reiterated their commitment first made in 2005 to cancel all the debt owed by the world's poorest countries. But so-called vulture funds are companies that buy up third world debt at rock bottom prices, then sue the countries for the full value and more, are undermining any promises of debt relief. In February, BBC investigative journalist Greg Palace exposed on Democracy Now! how one vulture fund, Donegal International, owned by U.S. resident Michael Sheehan, was trying to collect $40 million from Zambia after buying one of its debts for $4 million. Soon after, Congressmember John Conyers and Congressmember Donald Payne brought this up with President Bush. They brought it up a few hours after the broadcast on Democracy Now! and urged him to ensure the G8 summit would close the legal loopholes that allow vulture funds to flourish. Right now, where does it all stand, Greg? Who has the power and the damage that's being done? It's all up to George Bush right now. And this is what is driving the other members of the G8, that is the incoming Prime Minister of Britain, Gordon Brown, has, has made this like number one priority. I mean, you have to understand debt relief for Africa is real serious business uh, for Europe. And about half, about half of the money for, for uh, aid to Africa is being sucked up by these vultures who are seizing the funds. It all comes down to George Bush. It's also driving Congressman Conyers crazy. And he's basically said, look, if Bush doesn't do the right thing as he said it, this is the next investigation. Look, he just made a big splash with investigating uh, the prosecutor firings. That ain't done yet. But as soon as that's done, he moves right into vultures if Bush doesn't act. Now, what is it, what's the deal with Bush? See, under U.S., what's happening is these vultures are seizing the money from U.S. bank accounts principally. And George Bush can, uh, of these nations, these poor nations, in other words, they're given money to buy AIDS drugs. They have resources to, you know, uh, for educate. It's basically earmarked for education AIDS. They're sucking up the AIDS money. Bush can put a stop to it tomorrow morning. No one can sue a foreign government in the United States without the approval of the U.S. government, in particular the President of the United States. It's under the separation of powers clause of, of, of our Constitution. And what did Bush respond to, Conyers? Uh... Well, you know, it's, it's been the day, he does that, you know, I missed school that day, I don't know what's going on, you know, deer in the headlights, I'll check it out, I'll do something about it. Now, as you know, we had this dramatic situation with both Congressman Conyers, the chairman, a powerful chairman, and Don Payne, head of the Africa Committee, two powerful cats, were both heading to the White House for a meeting, both of them listening to Democracy Now! They both had the same idea. We don't care what's on the agenda with the president. This, the vultures, is what we have to talk about. It's these billions of dollars. And as Conyers said, until they heard the Democracy Now! report, and a lot of members of Congress listened, by the way, to this program, they had no idea that the money was being sucked up. They were voting for billions of dollars for Africa, and they didn't know that Bush's friends, now when I say Bush's friends, you have to understand, the biggest single vulture fund, the biggest predator uh, is, is a, uh, operations owned by a guy named Paul Singer, who's the number one donor for George Bush uh, and the Republican Party in New York. He's also the big fundraiser. He's raising $10 million for Rudy Giuliani. This isn't a sidelight for this guy. This is the only way he makes money. So George Bush has to know that his big money is basically coming from kickbacks from money taken from aid for Africa. If he didn't know before, Conyers and Payne, after hearing Democracy Now!, put it right in his face. And the reason is they, want, they didn't want the president to say, I don't know, it's a lower level thing. The president knows. And the G8 members personally, when I say G8, these are the world's leaders. Did, Chancellor Merkel of Germany. Did Bush do something about it at the G8 summit? Um, I think he hid in the, <laughs> in the boys' room, remember? He didn't come out when they were supposed to have some discussions, you know. So it's been this kind of you know, duck and run operation. Well, we're going to have to leave it there, but we'll continue to follow the story. Greg Palast is on the case, investigative reporter with the BBC. His latest book is called Armed Madhouse, From Baghdad to New Orleans, Sorted Secrets and Strange Tales of a White House Gone Wild.